the final building update about Dans Macabre. One of the biggest malfunctions in the park finally repaired. And a dark ride at Efteling being demolished. Hi, my name is Joost. I'm Yolanda. From Dutch Team Park Network. Let's dive in. start with some follow-up because in our previous update we told about the prizes at the duck fishing that it, there is no gambling element anymore but a patron of ours had a very good point he said I'm glad that there's no gambling element because now I know which pride I'm going to take home so I can let my child play and I know I don't have to bring the big plush toy home and if I have two children they can bring back the same toy and there's no battles going on at home so that's a very valid argument we didn't thought about it this way but no. i think it's a good point so maybe this change is a good thing thank, up thank you for the remark yeah. let's head over to the park and we start at the parking lot because they're working on the parking lot for the grand hotel and they're making good progress we can see the places where they will put in the plants or trees or so the uh, lamp posts are in place. We've heard a rumor that there might be valet parking at the Grand Hotel. That would be nice. Let's not talk about the Grand Hotel yet. First let us enter the park and we see a lot of construction work going on there as well. It's low season again so there is uh, construction work at the Efteling Theater and mm -hmm. the Efteling Theater right now is in scaffolding because they're uh, cleaning the facade which is necessary but they're also working on Aquanura and the Grand Hotel so when you enter there's just one big <laughs> building. One big building construction you think you will enter a building construction instead of a theme park but as soon as you uh, head over to the railroad you will see the park in its full glory almost because Dans Macabre is almost finished. More on that later in this video. Well, not the best way to enter the park. Let's hope they will fix this really soon. We, we, know, we know that mm -hmm. once the new Aquanura show will premiere, the theater will be out of scaffolding and it will be a way better look when you enter the park. That's in November, right? 15th? The 15th of November, we start with the Aquanura show, Chesto Nura and uh, Aquanura with uh, Zachte G. Those are both with music of local artists, one is DJ Chesto and the other is the local singer Guus Meerwes. All uh, In both there is some afternoon music and half December the new show Aquanura the Third Symphony will premiere and that will include the Beacons of Light and those have arrived at afternoon they are currently backstage. There's also a new logo there's a logo on the uniforms of the builders mm -hmm. that shows a bit of what we can expect, but it's not quite... And I no, don't know what to think about it. It's no. a bit it's, it's cartoony a, or something. It's and a big lantern and it can be fun, but we were maybe expecting screens that you could see also in the daytime because mm -hmm. lights you can't see in the daytime. I'm really curious what these beacons of light will add when the show plays at daytime but we have to wait for it. And first we'll show we you when it's done. For sure but we first we thought it would be screens in the lantern but we now know that it won't be screens so I'm not sure what they're going to do but we'll keep you posted. Let's head over to the Grand Hotel because they are making some good progress there as well. Yes they're working at the rooftop and they are putting a clock uh, facades in place and those give the building a little bit of du typically Dutch feeling. Definitely, it's definitely typically Dutch and also we know the new names of the restaurants. Mm -hmm. We he heard a rumor, we told you in the last update it was supposed to, I'm getting attacked here by three, but um, we heard a rumor that it's supposed to be Pur and Seven. Mm -hmm. And that Pur would be uh, the restaurant downstairs and Seven would be upstairs. And that's not true. No. Upstairs we are getting Mystique mm -hmm. and a cocktail bar. Mystique is the high-end restaurant yep. with a hundred seats and that's really a lot for a high-end restaurant. So I'm curious, will they use all seats every night? I guess they won't, but it's a lot of seats. And also a cocktail bar next to it with 80 seats. So, and finally a bar in the world of Efteling because the bar at the Efteling Hotel will disappear. We don't know yet. They're getting a renovation and if it will disappear or come back in another form, we don't know. But a bar 
in the world of Efteling, very fun. And downstairs, we've got restaurant 7. So, 7 won't be the, the upscale restaurant, but the more uh, family, the more family friendly restaurant. Also table service, but more uh, bistro style. Mm -hmm. And all menus, all uh, All items will all have one of the seven uh, special ingredients. And we've heard something about fairy dust, for example. Don't know what to expect, but we'll make sure to check it out once it's open. Definitely. Uh, and we still expect the Grand Hotel to open end of May or early June next year. I think, still think 31st of May would be the most fitting date because that's the birthday of Efteling. Then over to Symbolica because there are some works going on there as well. Yes, the big fish, the fable fish or fable fish in Dutch is uh, standing still now for quite some time and he is getting repaired. So when you enter the greenhouse area, the fish is supposed to come down and surprise you. But yeah, you first have to think you're in a normal greenhouse and then discover that Pardus added some magic to it. Yep, it hasn't been working for quite some time, but they are repairing it. Yes, and that is quite some work because to fix this element, the manufacturer had to bring in two items of eight meters long and they couldn't do that by just normally entering the building uh, from the side so they had to open, open up the rooftop to bring them in from top actually the afternoon was planning to keep the attraction open the complete time and just cover the greenhouse with uh, some blankets but they decided to close it down for some time so it's now closed for this week till the 27th of September and after that the Fable Bay fish should work again. And that rounds up Fantasie Rijk. Let's head over to the fairy tale forest. Then over to the fairy tale forest because in our last video, I had to make some last minute cuts. We had a whole segment about the guard at Sleeping Beauty, it was not there. Um, and the day we released their news update, the guard was in the fairy tale forest. And he looks lovely. Uh, he's sleeping at the side of the lake next to the castle. And uh, you see the sleeping guard, and he's moving his head, arm, and leg. And there's also an owl with a really cool hidden detail. There's an Efteling E, the logo of the old logo of Efteling. They had a special E and that's the key. That's really that's, good. And that's one of the signatures of Sander de Bruin. He puts in this E in a lot of places and those are so cool to look for. A nice hidden detail. Almost a hidden Mickey. Yeah, almost, yes. And that's Red Riding Hood. There is not so good news. Is he still not back on our sign? No, the sign with the letters Roodkapje, that is there, but there should be a statue on top of it and that is gone for quite a while. And let's hope it isn't gone as long as other elements of the park. What is back is Dragon. He's mm -hmm. back from his holiday. Finally, last Saturday, he was back in action again. So good to see him back. Absolutely. Also back the six swans. Yep, they are running the boat ride again without the wings of the swans and uh, those will come later but they are operating the ride again so a good thing. Then over to Sprookjesboom because he isn't interactive at this moment. Normally he tells something about the weather and asks for your name and your age but he isn't doing that for, now, for quite a while actually. Um, the afternoon we're told that they will repair that as well but it will take some time so for this moment he only tells his stories and then something about the forest itself yes the greenery of the forest they're going to cut some trees and that's because of the preservation of the uh, greenery and the biodiversity mm -hmm. so that's a good thing that they're going to cut some trees in the fairy tale forest they will do this before opening hours so as a day visitor you won't have any inconvenience of this adjustment to the fairy tale forest and i think it will look really nice because they already did a part between the gnome village and long neck and that looks really neat yes and so merch Merch, there is a new pin, a very beautiful pin, in mm -hmm. honor of the Chinese Nightingale, one of the more scarier fairy tales in the forest. But there is a beautiful pin of the Nightingale itself. 
The fairy tale is in the fairy tale forest for 25 years and to celebrate this they released a special pin for 7 euro 50s only available at the Oude Marskramer. Um, but make sure to check this one out. This is a really cool pin. Let's head over to Marerijk. Before we go to Marerijk, first something about Patreon, because we have a new patron. Yes, welcome and misfits guide to writing indie romance. Welcome to our community and maybe you want to become part of our community as well because in October, in the end of October, we will send out some merch to our patrons. If you want to receive also some merchandise, become a member of Patreon before the 15th of October and then we'll make sure to send out a package to you as well. But also a good reason is an upcoming contest. Yes, we're almost at 1898 followers. And we thought we could do a contest at 2000 or at 1898. Baron 1898. And we'll launch a contest with some really cool Baron merch that you can win. And as a patron, you have double entries. So head over to patreon.com and make sure to select a tier that suits you best. Definitely. And we hope to welcome you as well in our next monthly news update. Then over to Marerijk, because there's also a lot to tell as well. And we start with a snack. Yes, the Dippily Dutch Croquette. Uh, we've covered it, of course, in our uh, Dutch snack review. Mm -hmm. And um, it's vegan right now, so you can get a vegan option. It's plant-based. I'm not quite sure if there, it doesn't contain any milk, because somebody on Facebook mentioned that the afternoon calls it plant-based, because in some products, there is some milk. So it's plant-based, that's for sure. There's even plant-based ice cream right now, soft serve. Um, I heard somebody tell it tastes like grass. Not sure what to think we about that. We didn't taste uh, the, the ice cream, but we did taste the, the croquette. And um, I, I love uh, vegetarian options. We, but, so we know quite a few of them, and this is not the best one we tasted. Um, it's good. Not the best vegetarian croquettes out there. The afternoon promised to add more plant-based food options in the upcoming months, so we'll keep you covered on that as well. Then the Coca-Cola Freestyle Cups. The afternoon added Coca-Cola Freestyle Machines. They even will add some at Dans Macabre, at Heivenwoud. They have been here for two years now, I think. Yeah. And they've had two cups um, so far. The 70 years and the and white one, who knows? There are freestyle machines there as well. Over to Ravelijn. Yes, we heard a rumor in the last months that Ravelijn would stop at the end of this year. But right now it's announced that they're going to continue another year. So Ravelijn is not leaving the park right now. Uh, not leaving right now, but the rumor, we have strong signs that it was true, but that because of budget reasons, they have postponed this plan. It's still on the table, so. Uh, they have still have plans to cancel Ravelijn as a show and replace it by a walk through attraction, but it won't be before the end of 2025 that they will close down the show. Yep. So I think we can expect the walk through in 2026 or 2027. Yep. And Villa Volta is in maintenance from the 13th until the 18th of October. So when you come in that week, then uh, no Villa Volta, sorry. No Hugo van der Loonse Diner for you, no long stories in Dutch. Good reason to come back if you really want to do it. But all the work uh, and maintenance it also gives us some good things because at Volk van Laaf, het Lachhuis reopened. This yes. is the house with the stairs with the funny sounds. It was closed down for a couple of months because there was root rot and they solved that and it's reopened again. So that's a good thing. And that rounds up Marerijk. Let's head over to Rijzerijk. Rijzerijk, there is a new stage for Yoki and Jets. That's the puppet show near Carnival Festival. It was across from the attraction. Right now it's next to the attraction. It's a solid stage with concrete, so mm -hmm. it's pretty definite. Yep, for sure. And it gives room 
to expand Archipel. Yes, because the place where the show is located right now, next to Sirocco, that will be the place of a new adventure trail. And the afternoon announced that they still have plans to work out the second phase of the world of Sinbad. And that would include this adventure trail. On this location, so... Le let's hope for an announcement on a short notice. Yep. Nothing so far. Then also Archipel reopened. There was some maintenance going on. And of course Archipel reopened without the water. They were also doing some work on the rooftops. Yep. Um, but the water is gone and for sure this won't return until the beginning of the summer. When the weather is getting better again. Right now the leaves are turning so fall is coming to the park. And you don't want to get soaking wet right now. And we have a new favorite snack in the park. Ooh. If you're coming in the coming months, this is such a good one. It's croissant. It's topped with a green glazing pistachio, I think, with some whipped cream and pistachios. And it is so nice. If you're coming to Efteling, visit Kaspa and be sure to taste this croissant. The loaded croissant at Kaspa. And that makes us go to Ruikrijk. Well, Ruigrijk, something that's not in Ruigrijk anymore. The, the pedal pe trains. The pedal trains are now officially part of Rijzerijk. And there was a sign that there was something coming up there because the new lampposts. Uh, at the pedal trains we have the really nice lampposts with the big glass bowl and the compass underneath it. And this is part of Rijzerijk. They didn't move the attraction. It's just organizational change. They change the line on the map. And also Ruigrijk has new lampposts. Yeah. Really cool ones. These are steampunky. That were the last lampposts they had to add for the works this summer. So now all lampposts across the lake from Gondoletta are replaced by new ones. Really lovely ones. And things that are have been gone in the park for a long time, it's the monkey fountain. It's still not back. In front of uh, Station the East, it was uh, gone last year and we we're waiting for it for over a year and we don't know what happened. Wh where is it? Will it come back? We don't know. Uh, but over a year is quite a long time for a renovation of a fountain. Yep, well, we'll see. Also fun to know is that when you live in the Netherlands or in Belgium, there is a theater show coming to uh, lots of theaters mm -hmm. with a Efteling show. They do that often and right now they're making a Joris and the Draak show. And I think they want to make it a series because it's formerly known as Efteling Tells George and the Dragon. So Efteling vertelt Joris and the Draak. Uh, it will be a traveling production. Yeah. Through theaters in the Netherlands and Belgium, they, playing in 2025. They used to have only uh, Sprookjes film shows mm -hmm. uh, that would travel through the theater. And now it's um, also a legend, of course, but more of the Rijkrijk area. They've tried some things as well as the Koekoek show. That wasn't the best one. Uh, they will have a play later this year, A Night at Efteling together with another company. If you're curious, there are shows on YouTube. Efteling has productions and has them on YouTube. So you can see uh, previous shows there. Full registrations, maybe we can add some links down yep. in the description. Um, over to Baron because there is a really nice miniature by Louville. Louville is the company that is releasing a lot of miniatures for Christmas villages. Mm -hmm. And they have released now uh, a new series this year, including Baron. And it's a huge one. Actually, not a miniature. I think it's this big, yeah. and really huge. Uh, and you have the uh, station building and the lift hill with the tower. And it is huge and it will cost 300 euros. So quite expensive. It's popular too. So yeah. if you want one, be fast. There is, There are even lights in the station building. So it's, it's really a neat souvenir, uh, more high-end souvenir. Yep. Uh, so if you love Baron, check this one out. Yep. And the last piece of item at Ruigrijk is that there is uh, a Mobi discount in a mobile order. That's the first one. Yep. Um, Efteling has mobile ordering in several places in the app and if you select I want to order then it takes you to an external website. But now the Efteling is testing mobile ordering within their own website at Likkebaard 
the best burgers in the park. So maybe you want to check this out. Really good burgers. And with uh, annual pass, you get a discount. We mm -hmm. will have a whole video about annual passes coming up and all the discounts all the the perks that come with it and a discount is one of them and usually with a mobile order you didn't get the discount yeah, because you're on an external website and now with this new piece of technology you get the discount so it's good news for annual pass because the annual pass is in the app as well you can use uh, the discount and i hope this test will be successful and they will move over all the Definitely. mobile ordering to the app Mobile ordering, by the way, really good way to uh, reduce wait time. For sure. Yep. And that rounds up Rijk Rijk. Let's head over to Ander Rijk. Ander Rijk, it which includes Dans Macabre. This is really weird because as long as we have our channel, we are talking about the construction of Dans Macabre and this will be our final time that we can talk about the construction. Yes, at the 28th of October, 27th of October. 26th of October. Ooh, we're uh, getting to enter Dans Macabre, so... Quite sure we'll make a video about oh, that. Definitely, definitely. And um, then the annual pass holders, uh, previews will be, we told you about it, and on the 31st of October, and that's before our next news update, um, Dans Macabre will open and they're making really some progress. Um, they have to, they're the last things, the dots on the eye are uh, being done right now. We hear some building works in the background because we're right next to it right now. And uh, it's looking beautiful from the outside. Efteling moved the building fences and they only have fenced off the final stay apart before the entrance because they're still working there. And uh, we see signing coming up. A really cool sign is the branch in front of it with all the signs direct you to all the parts of the Hyverwoud. And we also saw that they were adding a test seat out if, uh, in front of the building. We'll go in, I'll show you everything you need to know about the attraction, the type, if you can enter, if you want to enter, of course, because it's a scary ride. Uh, we don't know how fast it will go, so we'll tell you everything you want and need to know when we get to enter ourselves. Uh, yes, uh, but this means that maybe some body types can't enter the right. If there's a test seat, that definitely means that's but not able. But uh, it's a good thing they put it away behind a little wall so you don't have to measure in front of all visitors. The 31st it will reopen and finally we see the Hive about in full glory. And we've got some cool merch in our webshop. If you... I will stand up for a moment. If you are want to celebrate Dans Macabre with us, then you can. You find these designs in our web shop, uh, dutchteamparknetwork.com slash shop. If you order right now, you will have your order before the opening of Dans Macabre on the 31st. Yep. So make sure to check that one out. Um, also, news about Fata Morgana. Maybe we'll do a viewing party of the, the special Dans Macabre. Maybe you can, can do that. It'll be fun. Hmm, a live stream. Yeah, or a viewing party. Like uh, a, a set release dates and then we can all join. Oh, may uh, oh a premiere video. Maybe, yeah, oh. fun. Let us know, would you like a viewing party? Let us know down in the comments because if you want to, we can make it happen. Uh, let us know and we'll see what we'll make, but for sure we make a video about the previews. Yep. Um, something about Fata Morgana. Because big rumors that Fata Morgana, mm -hmm. it needs maintenance and it needs maintenance bad. There uh, is a lot of stuff not working for a long time now and even leaks and things growing mm -hmm. that maybe should not be growing there. It needs big maintenance and maybe there are rumors that it will need a complete rebuild. Two years ago, the CEO of Efteling announced that there were big works coming up and we expected those last year but of course it didn't happen because Piranha was getting the big refurbishment so we were expecting the big refurb of Fata Morgana this year. It but is it announced but only for 10 days so that is not a big refurb that's no. just dusting. Basically. The refurb we're talking about is for maybe even a closure of more than a year yep. and now because the building isn't in the best shape 
maybe they that's are a, that's an understatement they yeah. are, they are talking about partial of complete demolishment of the Fata Morgana and a complete rebuild Fata Morgana won't leave the park for sure they they keep no, it there definitely. but it might be a partial of complete rebuild and that would be the reason why the big works are postponed again uh, for at least a year yeah it, it needs good research because this will mean a lot of calculations which are the best options to do so they uh, postponed the big maintenance and we'll see what will come up for mm -hmm. Fata Morgana and then there's also some news in the world of Efteling, outside of the amusement park. And first we head over to the office building, Ravelein. Yes, there is a small fairy tale tree spotted there, and that's a fun one. They're testing artificial intelligence and specifically the voice AI. So you can have a real conversation with fairy tale tree. Mm -hmm. We saw it as Disney, uh, where you could have a real conversation with Mickey Mouse, the cartoon. And that, that isn't really AI, but it could be really fun if yeah. the character really reacts to what you say. Because now Fairy Tale in the old days, he just asks for your age, and, and your he age. only said, "Well, that's quite an age. I'm over 100 years." But in this way, he will have a real conversation with you. It could be. They're testing it, and mm -hmm. it's, I think it's fun that they're testing it. They're, exp they're exploring this technology as well. It's prohibited to make videos or photos about it because it's a test and they are using a different voice than for the fairy tale tree himself, but they will make that work. But of course they have to test what w will it do when you say something right. inappropriate, yeah. uh, what w will it do when you try to make it say things that Efteling doesn't want Fairy Tale Tree to say. For example, a commercial for another theme park. So they're in, it's in the office right now and it's being tested by employees. Mm -hmm. And some news about where many viewers are waiting for. Tickets for New Year's Eve are on sale. They're on sale, they're popular. It's the event at Efteling that does sell out. So if you want to visit New Year's Eve and you don't have tickets, then buy them now. Be mindful that if you book a stay during those days, the ticket is already included. You mm -hmm. don't need to buy an extra ticket. So if you're staying on property, don't buy it. If you're staying off property and you want to visit this event, buy a ticket. Or you live in the Netherlands? Of course, yes. Uh, but don't wait too long to buy no. your ticket. Make sure you can be there the Efteling there's really good fireworks at 12 o'clock. There's a free olibol, a Dutch dough snack. And a glass of champagne or uh, bubbles uh, with, without alcohol if you're not into alcohol. And we'll be there as well, so come celebrate with us. We hope to see you over there. Yep. And then we told about the recordings of the Land to Zee in de Lucht, the television program. And it aired. Actually, when we record this, the last episode was aired last Saturday. And it's a big hit. For obvious reasons. Uh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but more than one million uh, viewers per episode. So uh, RTL and Efteling. And for the Netherlands, that's a big number. It's mm. bigger than the news, which is uh, mostly the best viewed uh, TV program. But it's just a really success for the Netherlands. For sure. RTL and Efteling already announced the second season. And they're even talking about a winter version for maybe New Year's Eve. Yeah, fun. And that may be recorded in a park in no November or December? The 4th of November. Recorder, recordings are rumored for the 4th of November. So the stage might return as well to the park, which isn't the most beautiful stage. But, but not sure if they... Do you really want to let people fall into the water on the 4th of November? I'm not sure. Maybe they uh, will oh, have an item without any water. A winter wetsuit? No, We'll see. We'll see. Uh, and then on the 27th of October, there is an event, the Efteling and Anton Peak Collectors Fair in Drune. It's only 15 minute drive away from Efteling. If you're in the neighborhood, it's a fun event to visit. A lot of Efteling fans, a lot of Efteling merch. It's two euros to enter. And uh, it's from 10 o'clock onwards. Yep. 10 o'clock in and the morning. And we'll be there as well because we have our own stand at the yep. fair. And you Some have special music? merch. Mm -hmm. We've got these beautiful cups. They will cost 14 euros 50 and people already ask will they be for sale online as well. No, they won't be on sale online. If you come over, come over and say hi. We always love to say, meet Definitely. our viewers. Yep. So we hope to see you on the 27th of October in Drunen.
that's all for Efteling, but there is news from other parks as well, because it's October. It's October and that means Halloween. We love Halloween. We made a lot of videos about Halloween last year and we're making more videos about Halloween this year. We'll have a complete Halloween weekend coming yeah. up. We will visit Slagharen, uh, Hellendoren and Waribi uh, all in one weekend. And Toverland as well on another date. Yep. So we're making registrations of those and uh, know that if you want to celebrate Halloween in the Netherlands then the Efteling is not the best place. Of course on the 31st of October you can visit Dans Macabre and I should definitely do that if you're in the Netherlands and uh, you want to visit Efteling on a date, please do. But in the weeks previous, there is a lot of Halloween events in, in other parks. Mm -hmm. We made a video about it. You tell subscribers everything about all Halloween celebrations in the Netherlands. Yep. We'll make sure to link this video down in the description as well. So if you want to celebrate Halloween, make sure to check out this video. And also a very cool event that's coming back mm -hmm. is the Life Safari at Beekse Bergen. Beekse Bergen is a 20 minute drive from Efteling, very close by, a really good combination to visit because Beekse Bergen is an animal park, a safari park, a really good high quality zoo. Uh, we recommend it and there are a lot of videos coming up about Beekse Bergen as well on our channel, so keep stay tuned. And on the 28th of November mm -hmm. until the 9th of March, the Light Safari will return to the park. And we made also a video about Light Safari last year, that was the first edition. Yep. I'm really curious what they're going to do. Will they enlarge the route? Will there be new sculptures? It uh, was impressive to, enough to do the same and we'll definitely visit again. For sure, it's yeah. in a nice walk uh, with all kinds of light sculptures. Check yep. out the video. There is an early bird discount. If yep. you purchase uh, the tickets online right Right now you get a discount of five euros per person so if you're visiting uh, Efteling this winter make sure to check out this discount as well we'll add a link in the description over to Wadi B Holland because they are building a single rail coaster actually two one family friendly and one more intense one and they're making really good progress yeah, and they're going th fast. it looks almost complete but what I find strange is that Wadi B didn't did any promotion about this? Nothing. I don't know why. We'll see what they're planning and we'll keep you posted. But it's fun that they're adding a new roller It's a good reason to visit Valibi Holland again next year. Definitely. And that rounds up this month's news update. Yep. Let us know. Are you hyped for the opening of Dans Macabre? Just we, as we are. Do you want a viewing party? Let us know. Let us know down in the comments. And of course, make sure to like and share this video to help it spread to a broader audience. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see all our upcoming videos. Yeah, there's a lot coming up. There's really a lot coming up. So stay tuned and we hope to see you in the next one. See you. See you.